hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a and b if we have a plus b is equals to 2 and a b is also equals to 2 and we solve this problem for the values of a and b so here first we call this is our equation number one and we call this is our equation number two and now now here we solve these two equations and we easily get the values of a and b so here first we need to focus on equation number one and our equation number one is implies that this is a plus b equals to two and here we move this a to the right hand side and it will be written as b is equals to two minus a and we call this is our equation number three so here we substitute this value of b uh, into equation number two so that uh, equation number two is implies that uh, when you when we substitute this value of b here it will be written as this is a times of b the value of b is two minus a is equals to two and here we multiply this a on both of these values after multiplying this it will be written as this is two times of a minus a times of a becomes a square and this is plus two uh, when we move it into the left hand side it will become minus 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to rearrange the terms and here first we write the square term it is minus a square and this is our plus 2a and this is minus 2 is equals to 0 and now we multiplying each of these uh, value by minus 1 so after multiplying it by minus 1, this will be written as this is minus a square becomes plus a square. This is plus 2a becomes minus 2a. This is minus 2 becomes plus 2 and equals to 0. You see here this equation will become a quadratic equation in a variable. Uh, so, so that here we need to uh, solve this quadratic equation by applying the quadratic formula. Uh, so we know about that first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital a is equals to 1 capital b is equals to minus 2 and capital c is equals to plus 2 so these are the coefficients of this equation uh, and we know about uh, the quadratic formula it is stated as small a is equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c here and it will be written as a is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 2 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and in the next step you see here this is minus times minus becomes plus 2 and plus minus square root of minus 2 square and minus 2 square becomes 4 and minus this is a 4 times of 2 and it is divided by 2 2 times of 1 becomes here 2 so further in the next step we have this is 2 plus minus here we need to take common 4 inside that terms and it will be written as 4 times of 1 minus 2 and it is divided by 2 and further in the next step we have our a is equals to this is 2 plus minus uh, here we just separate the square root on both of these terms and when we apply square root on 4 we know that square root of 4 becomes 2 into square root of 1 minus 2 becomes minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so here we need to break this fraction and when we break this fraction uh, it will be written as 2 2 divided by 2 plus minus this is 2 and minus 1 square root becomes iota and it is divided by 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here the value of a is equals to 1 plus minus iota so this is the values of a which we get here uh, 
and now here in the next step in order to find the values of b uh, we use these two values of a so here we write the positive value of a it is uh, 1 plus iota and here we write the negative value of a it is 1 minus iota uh, so our uh, equation number 3 is implies that uh, it is b is equals to 2 minus a so this is our equation number 3 so now we substitute the above two values of a on this equation and we easily get the values of b uh, so here when you put this value here it will be written as in this form so first we put this value here it will becomes b is equals to uh, this is 2 minus a and the value of a is 1 plus iota so here we obtain b is equals to 2 minus we multiply this negative sign of both of these values it will becomes minus 1 minus iota here we easily get the value of b is equals to 1 minus iota so this is the value of b uh, corresponding to the value of a is 1 plus iota and likewise we substitute this value of a here and we get our b is equals to 2 minus a the value of a is 1 minus iota and we multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will becomes 2 minus 1 and plus iota and we get the value of b is equals to 1 plus iota so this is the value of b uh, corresponding to the value of a is 1 minus iota so here uh, finally we have uh, the solution set of the given question is that uh, so here first we have the value of a is 1 plus iota and corresponding value of b is 1 minus iota and the second solution set is the value of a is 1 minus iota and uh, corresponding value of b is 1 plus iota so this is the second solution set of the given question statement and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos